Are you trying to lose weight on a plant-based diet? If you are, I have a few tips for you. Hi, I'm Dorothy Adamiak, former board-certified naturopathic doctor, author of five books and the creator of Using Proportions Blueprints, so you can finally get an A in the house. Today, I'm going to tell you why you're not losing weight on the plant-based program and what you need to do to change that. There are three huge reasons why you may not be losing weight even if you are eating nothing but plants. One, you may not be eating real foods. This is a big one for many plant-based followers, so let's get you out of this trap. Plant-based diet is a broad umbrella term that indicates where food comes from. But just because your food is 100% plant-based, it doesn't mean it is slimming. Blueberry muffins are 100% plant-based, but surely they won't make you lose weight. Processed foods category, uh, blueberry fits it right there, is not only bad for your health, but also for your weight. Processed food is high in calories, but that's not always obvious. A regular blueberry muffin has 470 calories, which is equivalent to four and a half medium bananas or three medium baked potatoes. Three medium baked potatoes? Can you even eat that in one sitting? I bet you can't, but you can eat a blueberry muffin without a blink. Caloric density is the main reason why processed foods, even if 100% plant-based, stalls weight loss. Think about all those plant-based chips, donuts, chocolate bars, and cookies. Can you see weight loss on these? Ultra-processed food consumption is strongly associated with higher body mass index, larger waist, and a much higher risk of being obese. According to a large study, a mere 10% increase in processed food increases risk of putting on weight by not only 10%, but a whopping 18 So you can eat extra 10% junk and end up with extra 18% weight gain. What's a take-home message? If you want to lose weight on a plant-based, stick to real foods. And that's not almond milk, fruit bars, or breakfast cereals. Real food is carrots, nuts, lentils, and bananas. You get the gist. If you're still confused, follow this rule. Eat only foods that have no labels. Two, you may be eating too little protein. Protein controls hunger. The more protein in your diet, the less hungry you get, the less you eat, the slimmer you get. But here's the problem. Plants aren't very rich in protein. So when you're plant-based, you eat less protein, and as a result, you drive your hunger up. Not good for weight loss. What's the ideal amount of protein to keep hunger low? That will be about 30% of your calories. As an example, if you eat 1,700 calories in a day, you need about 130 grams of protein to cover it. What if you don't eat 1,700 calories? How much protein do you need? This is how you can calculate protein amount to curb your hunger down. Take your normal calories and multiply by 30% or 0.3. That's how many calories from protein you need. Since one gram of protein carries four calories, you need to divide this number by four. That's how many grams of protein you need in a day to beat hunger. If you eat animal products, that's easy. You can satisfy the number without any trouble. But if you eat plant-based food, that may be hard. 130 grams of protein is equivalent to 7 cups of boiled lentils, 50 cups of chopped broccoli, or 4.5 cups of almonds. Well, let's say that's not very practical. And that's why most plant-based dieters do not eat 130 grams of protein a day, but more like 50 but 50 grams is about 11% of calories, not 30. With 50 grams, although you meet the minimum protein requirement for your body, you don't even come close to your optimal hunger point. Thus, you may be hungry all the time, and because of that, you may be eating more than you should. Three, you may be eating too many carbs. Let's not beat around the bush. Plant-based is naturally high carb, a well-balanced, plant-based day 
is made up of about 200 to 300 grams of carbohydrates. That's high carb. And high carb is not good for weight loss for some people. Let's see if you're one of them. High carb diet is well suited only for two types of individuals. 100% metabolically healthy people or individuals who are highly active and need to replenish muscle glycogen regularly. Athletes, people who have physically demanding jobs and serious fitness enthusiasts belong to this group. And they can do well on carbs. But if you aren't one of them, you can suffer negative weight gain effects. And that means high carb plant-based can stall your weight loss efforts. Unfortunately, only 12% of people are healthy enough to be able to tolerate high-carb diet without side effects. The other 88% of people are carb-sensitive and don't tolerate sugars. The trouble is that all carbohydrates break down to simple sugars. And that includes even the healthiest ones like oats or bananas. For example, a bowl of oats will break down to 16 teaspoons of sugar. And if you add banana to it, you end up eating 24 teaspoons of sugar at one sitting. What's the problem with that? Glucose and fructose. Glucose raises insulin. Fructose goes into liver. If your body can't metabolize glucose properly, you end up with a spike of insulin. If your body can't metabolize fructose properly, you end up with a fatty liver. Both insulin and fatty liver contribute to weight gain and if you overeat on glucose and fructose, you'll not be losing weight even on the healthiest plant-based menu plan. How can you tell if your body can or cannot handle carbohydrates? There is a test called HOMA-IR. HOMA is a specialized test that can detect insulin resistance. But don't mix up insulin resistance and diabetes. They are different. And that matters. You may have insulin resistance even if you don't have diabetes. HOMA IR is not a standard test and it's not routinely done by doctors. You have to ask for it. So do, even if you think you're perfectly healthy, but for some strange reason, you cannot lose weight on a plant-based diet. If your HOMA IR is below 1.6, your body handles carbohydrates well and carbs are not an issue. But if HOMA is higher, then you'll be better off on a low carb diet. So to make plant-based weight loss a reality, you need to one, eat real food, two, get sufficient protein, and three, adjust carbs to match your body physiology. For more tips, subscribe and see you in the next video.